OML Embroidery, and over there on the computer is Dawn. It's Dawn. <laughs> Hello. How come it went back to the screen, Dawn? Uh, it'll go back to the screen. Okay, what, like, don't worry about that. what'd you do? Uh, All right, we good? We're good. Rock and roll. All right, today we are going to be doing orange slices. I'm so excited from the Anita Good Design because Sunday is Anita Good Design Day. Um, from the June 2021 edition, and I will be hopefully, fingers crossed, making a purse. Not a hundred percent sure. I hope it works out that way, but you never know. So, in my quest to make such a pretty design, I search through and i don't have a lot of orange he's down here b just leave him just leave him. i don't have a whole lot of plain orange like what they used is uh felt and stuff and i didn't have enough so i went to my halloween stash and you won't believe what i found because you need three colors so a dark a light and then a white what'd you find, what'd you find? I, I found all of these that will work and this is from the all hallows eve fat quarters that i got from missouri star so look at this look at this one so the patterns are exactly the same but opposite and then this one I'm going to do first because it's so pretty. And it's all the same kind of subdued orange and I love it. So then we have the little flowers, white on white for the seeds. Love it. Hello, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. And then for the outside or the rind, I'm using this. And I'm quite happy. Do you want to see how it turned out? Because I just love it. What do you <laughs> What do you think, Don? Oh wow! Yeah, awesome. isn't that cool? Yeah, so I'm like, I can incorporate Halloween into an orange. So I'm pretty sure that's successful, right? <laughs> so I just wanted to see how it would look. Actually, I love the rind like this. It happened to line up just lovely. And then the dark and the white, uh, the dark and the light and the white. So I'll make as many as I can of this, and then I'll incorporate one of these two. I'm not really sure which one. I think either would look good, or I'll do all of them <laughs> and put it together. I think it's going to look spectacular. So that's my choices. And uh, I think it's going to work out really well. So what I did, I want to tell you, because you have to make eight of them for the purse. Can you keep it down there? Sorry. Yeah. Um, I printed two templates. So this one is for the inside and this one is for the outside because I'm working with fat quarters. So I kind of want to be a little careful um, how I'm cutting it out. I don't want any waste. So normally I would do this for the dark, uh, but I think it's a little more frugal to do it this way. And then I'm not wasting any fabric. So I have everything cut out and ready and, uh, ironed. I know, I know you guys, I know it's okay. I did iron. So I'm just going to move this stuff. I'm going to leave it out so we can look at it whenever we come back to the desk you'll have to let me know other than the little flowers which one you guys like the best for it the big flowers or i don't know what those are but it's cool it's got a little bit of black in it so we'll leave those to the side because i love it now i have a couple extras because again i'm working with fat quarters I thought this would be really good for the outside as well. I think it would look neat, but I'm pretty sure I'll have enough of that. And then the matching one there. So very excited about that. Um, I just wanted to try it out. It's a great stitch out. However, I did find in this one, I haven't looked at the other one. There's a couple of boo-boos. 
and I'm going to point them out to you and show you how to deal with them if you don't have software to deal with it. So um, I think there's one, two things we have to change, but that's it. So warm and natural batting, my All Hallows Eve from uh, Missouri Star, which has just turned out perfectly. What is that white rectangle popping up on the screen? Don? Uh, bottom right hand corner? What is it? Oh, this? This? Yes, it's probably this. That is just one of our high tech gadgets. I'll move it out. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Sorry, Karina. Is that better? It's gone now. Let me know. Don, you can watch. Let me know if that was it. I haven't seen anything pop up on the screen. Well, I had, that's probably it. I moved it so I can control cameras from here if I wanted to, but yeah. Hello, Sue, and hello, Don. Top right. Well, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I'm seeing words though, Don. Hello, Don. Uh, okay. Did you fix it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Second day with our new software. Yeah, I didn't know that was showing through. Well, that's why you have your iPad right there, right? So yeah, you can I didn't see even it. Notice. Okay. Well, there we go. All right. Sorry. Don says he fixed it. It's gone. I see it now. It's gone. Okay. Uh, like I said, second day with our new software. What are you going to do? All right. Let's go to the Luminaire 2 called Captain Jack. I just saw it come up again, Don. It's off. It won't come up. I just saw it. I I'll, just... I'll watch it. Well, okay. Can we go to my Luminaire 2, please? There is a bright rectangle in the corner. Yeah, I saw it come up. Don didn't, but... Yeah, Are we on the machine, Don? We're on wide, yep. Um, okay, well, you don't have to go on wide. Um... So I have cut away and as always, I've trimmed it down so you guys can see the googly eyes. Uh, bobbin check, I have about half a bobbin, should make it. If not, then a good game of bobbin chicken. 7511 needle, cause I never ever change it. The speed on my machine, I never changed that either because Captain Jack or my Luminaire 2 knows what speed to do. So, Let's get started on this. So, oh yeah, by the way, I'm doing size B. So it is in an eight by eight hoop. The actual size is 7.72 by five and a half. So I just put it in this hoop. It kind of fit well. It won't fit in your five by seven, but there is another size for you. So you can do that. So placement what's the next step lynn lynn where's lynn next step put your fabric down and tack it down batting, batting yes lynn repeats it all the time so she remembers i'm hoping not to play any kind of applique chicken today so uh it should be good i saw somebody mention yeah, I said bobbin. I have about half a bobbin. We may or may not be playing bobbin chicken. It should be a good game. So if you're new, bobbin chicken is when you know how much bobbin you have and you think it'll go to the end. So however close you get. Doesn't work with a full bobbin. What's that? I like the orange. I use the same colors as are listed in the um, I need a good design site. I'm off by one number, but that's okay. So let's go back to the desk, Don. Okay, now this one we are going to trim right up to the line. The rest of them that we do, for the most part, we have to leave a little bit of an edge. So quarter of an inch or more, just so, to make it easier to um, sew it together. We don't want the batting in our seam allowance, though. We don't. 
So we're going to cut all the batting right at the line. So here we go. Oop. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go back to the machine, Don. And then you can see how much Bob and I have. So we'll see if it's a good game for sure. So that's the base of it. The next step is we're going to do the placement line for the background. So the dark orange on this one. They're all different, but for this one, it's the background. And this is where one mistake is. And I'm going to let it stitch out because it doesn't matter. The other one, however, I'm going to skip because it does matter. So this is the placement. It's the majority of this, but we leave a little spot for the rind. And this is the mistake. So it's okay to stitch it because we're going to be putting stuff over it. However, if you are doing the other part, stop. I was talking and listening. It looks like we have a little thread -a pillar going on. Yes. As a matter of fact, we do. Got him. There he is. Can you see that? It looks like a bug. Don't tell B. <laughs> Don't tell B. Put your foot up and then you're going to pull your thread through so you can see what camera are we on? Um, the one. That one. So one. you can see where the thread was shredding. And we want to go past that. You can feel it. It's still shredding there. Just pull a little bit more out. That should be good. If you try to thread it right where the thread -a pillar was, then you're going to end up with uh, more thread -a pillars. They multiply. So, and I'm not going to back up because it doesn't matter on this part. This is the boo-boo. It's a little confusing. So there we go. We'll just finish stitching it just because. Because it's both placement. So we're just ignoring that one. I just wanted to show you what it was. You can either delete it in embroidery software or just skip it. So there we go that's try to be as conservative as i can now of course we're going to stitch this down and we have to remember uh where to trim up the line and where not to trim up the line so far i love this fabric it's beautiful and you can see the thread matches almost perfectly which i love so it's going to stitch it down twice because we want it to stay there. And it looks good. Karina says she got a t-shirt this week. It says I'm not today. Yes, I saw pictures of it. And this one we're going to stop. All right, so it was going to do the tack down line for that one that we did inside. So just press stop and I'm going to put my foot up because I didn't stitch anything, but I almost forgot. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip to the next color. So that's how you do it. Now we are going to go back to the desk, Don. So for here, this is where the rind i guess they call it so this part here so we need to cut this top part right at the line because another applique is going to go on top of that and we need to leave uh a little bit on the sides now you can leave the rest of it for you know when you're done if that's what you want so uh, that works. So I'm just gonna, doesn't have to be neat. I neatened my other one up, but just so you don't have excess hanging around, that's a little more than a quarter of an inch, but that's okay. As long as you remember to leave it because it makes a difference when you're sewing it together. So 
Awesome. Let's go back to the luminaire. Thank you. A little bit. A little bit. There we go. And we're going to do the placement for the outside of it. And this one we're going to have to leave. This is another boo boo, but you don't have to change it. For some reason, it's doing a back stitch. Uh, it doesn't need to be, it's just a placement line, but minor detail. You still get the line. Good enough. So we're going to have to trim the bottom of the rind and we'll just leave the top where it is. I might even do it in the hoop. But yeah, look at all those nice stitches that you don't need. <laughs> but that's okay. So when you're placing your fabric down, make sure you leave that seam allowance and your piece of fabric is big enough to cover everything and leave the seam allowance. You don't want to shorten it. So I'm going to move mine up a little bit and then I'm going to check. Yeah, I look pretty good. You can also feel because the batting is quite heavy duty and let's stitch it down with a single stitch. So that's it for boo-boos. That's all I found. So skip them, delete them, whatever you want to do. You don't want the other one stitching over here. I guess you could because we're going to cover it over, but there's no point. See, that looks dark again to me, Don. Okay, so for this one, let's see if my hoop stays where I want it to. Uh, kind of. So, now, nah, not going to. Let's go back to the desk. Just a little switch. So, don't worry about here, here, and the top because that's our seam allowance. So, I'm going to trim this part right at the line because that's what we want to do. And then when the satin stitches go for this part, this applique, then it'll cover it over. So we're good there. Karina's asking when you find boo-boos, do you contact the company and tell them about it? Yes. Yes. Anita Good Design is wonderful about that. Uh, Don, back to the machine. Um, Martha is who you contact there, and she fixes them all, and then they issue a um a what a fixed one so yes absolutely it's not like an earth shattering mistake or anything terrible what was that i don't know that was i don't know what that was oh we're just we're just happily shredding thread i did it for use this for the whole other one didn't break my needle though so okay so we'll pull some more off it's just one of those days i guess um i always start the threading right at the beginning it was kind of half in half out then you make sure you don't miss anything and again this one is just a placement stitch so i'm not going to worry about going back we don't need to worry about that. And we'll hit OK. And we'll just carry on. Because we pretty much know where it's going to go. Perfect. But see, we can still see it, so we're not going to worry. Now this one is the light part. And because I've cut it a little more to shape, I need to be a little more careful placing it. So I want to make sure everything's covered, but even though it's kind of hacked out, it's perfectly fine. No chicken, no chicken. Make sure, yes, it's on the right side. And then I can be, you know, a little bit conservative with the fabric so I have enough. But I do have backups, so we're good. And that's fine. That's actually perfect. And I didn't waste a thing. And it's going to stitch it down twice, of course. 
which is perfect for me. Holds it nicely. Look at the little bit of loft we got. Oh, I love it. So far, so good. Okay, next up is the seed applique, but before we do that, we're going to go back to the desk, Don. And this is an inside applique, so we need to trim it right at the line. We don't have to worry about seam allowance because we will be having satin stitches cover over it. So do it carefully. Take your time. There we go it's fine so very little waste i like how i did that a little conservative i don't like to waste the fabric there we go good enough maybe a little bit down here so it doesn't show and we've got one more teeny tiny applique to do and then we're going to start doing the details so back to the luminaire 2 captain jack as we know him as all right, now we're going to do the placement for the seed, which is kind of cool. It's just little, but it adds to it. So I have the same design in dark, light, and white. And I think that kind of is cool. It kind of adds to the whole effect of it. It's pretty. And they're all, I like the kind of orange that it is. So that stitches down twice. Clunk, that was a bit of a clunk. And we're just going to trim this out quickly. So back to the desk, Don. Thank you very much. And we're just going to trim it out. Welcome very much. Right to the line. Are there any other questions, Don? As I'm moving along. Alicia's asking if maybe you have a burr on the needle. Uh, it seems to be okay. It's possible. I think if it happened again in quick su succession that I would change the needle. But it seems okay now. Back to the machine, please. But yes, that's it. Po absolutely possible. Third time's the charm is what I would say to that now i'm pretty sure i have to change thread yes i do because we want the bright orange always pull the thread in the direction that it normally goes and we are going to do some beautiful satin stitches and then i can sneak a peek at the chat too which is always nice so just doing my threading thing it's quick and easy and the satin stitches are going to go over here between the rind and the the background. Oh. Would you switch cameras when I'm threading, Don? Would you mind? Yeah, nobody needs to see my arms in front of the camera. I like the eyes on the frame. Googly eyes! I know. Most, most of the stuff has googly eyes. The machine has googly eyes because, you know, yeah, why not? That would be awesome, Trent. Oh, I'm missing the conversation. Wouldn't it be fun to have a switch day where Don and Sue, the teaching and Sue switches? I, Don says um a lot and he freezes. He's like, he doesn't, he doesn't want to do the demos. Plus he has absolutely zero idea how to use the machine. So yes, oh, it would. Oh, don't go there. Have you ever used my machine? No, that's not. One needle. I didn't say you couldn't figure it out. One right. needle. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. It it would be fun, but I doubt you could get Don to do it. You yeah, know. Looks like it's going to be a nice size bag. I thought it would be smaller. I like it. There's two sizes above it and one below. So you could make it smaller. I thought this size would be just about right. I think it would be a good size. Yeah, I think so. 
All right, so now we are going to do some more satin stitches, but not in this color. I'm going to change it back to the thread shred thread. <laughs> there we go. And it's just like a softer orange. I will tell you the number in a minute because it is perfect with the color of the fabric. So it's awesome. Oh, you didn't change camera again. Mm. It's right there. Okay. Not when I looked. You're on delay. I was already changing thread. All right. Now back to the this one. So satin stitches. There we go. And more of a like calmer orange right here. See? Twins. Look, isn't that going to be cute together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. So a little bit of nice underlay, and then we're going to do the satin stitches. I don't know if they do zigzag stitches, but. So all I did to fix this design is I brought it into Embrilliance, actually, because Embrilliance seems to be way better at sending designs to my machine. I have a hard time because this machine, this Luminaire 2, is only wireless but it's not bluetooth it's wi-fi and pe design says i can't find your machine and i'm like it's right there but you know anyone here besides sue and misha making a bag for this collection uh weren't you in on it alicia you might be i think there was three people Ah, Marissa says, I love seeing the up close trimming. I haven't done any applique yet. Yeah, take note of how I do the trimming. You have to find your own path a little bit on it. Like, for example, beginner Lynn didn't like my scissors and she cut it a different way. However, you need to, I don't do on the machine trimming because you need to turn your hoop and then you can make um, better cuts for it. So, and always take your time. So always take it off the machine and put it on a flat surface and carefully trim. You don't have to have the duckbill scissors that I use. They are handy, but like I said, Lynn didn't like them at all. Um, Oh, that's a good idea. Would be fun to do a fruit salad bag with the different slices, too. Awesome. Susan Weehy, she's the other one. I knew it was someone. Yeah, wouldn't that be cute? I had a hard time deciding which one I liked better. But once I figured out about my Halloween All Hallows Eve fabric and how good it looks, I was like, yep, that's it. That's it. My sister and I plan to start on Sunday. There's lots you can do with these slices. Today is Sunday. It is Sunday, isn't it? Oh, you know what that means, Don? What? Tomorrow's Mug Rug Monday. It is. Mug Rug Monday. We should start a cheer about it. Uh, be kind. It's beautiful. It's beautiful be kind it's got a lot of uh cool things in it so i like it i have to next sunday yeah we know we're just giving you a hard time susan <laughs> just for fun i think it would be great in shiny fabric yeah i think if you're making a purse if you could find like i'm thinking cork uh different kinds of cork depending on which one you're doing. Um, but also you could use the marine vinyl. Um, felt was another thing that they they used. There we go. Now I'm using the same color for the seed in the middle. I think you could experiment with a lot of different ones. And I think you could get some really different looks and it would be cool. Have to drive to Missouri. Oh, you can go there. 
I get to go there online and spend way too much money always. Like seriously, always. Always, always. So believe it or not, we are almost done. Look how pretty that light orange is. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's just, it's subtle like this orange. I forgot to show you guys my nails. Did you notice my nails? They're cool. I have duck build scissors that I've never used. Watch some of my videos because I show you how to use them properly and what the heck the duck bill is for. So you might find that helpful. I like them. Not everyone does. Ooh, stop. I'm skipping this part because it's circles, little circles, and I really like this print. So uh, I almost forgot that. So I'm skipping it. And all you have to do is basically not stitch it. So we're going to go to the machine and we're going to forward it to the last color. That's all there is. If you're using different fabric, you might want to do that little bit of detail, but I, I don't, I don't think you'll be able to see it. And I really, really want the pattern to show. So the next color is the little bit of detail um, on the inside and I'm using it's kind of a little bit darker of an orange so not as bright but a little more color and I thought it looked really great just kind of stood out perfectly so and it kind of goes with my fabric too so I like it so we're just going to do a little bit of detail work. See, it's darker. Let's look on the finished one. It's not as bright as the top one and not as pale as the outside one. But I kind of like it. And it's just the details. So this is going to be fun to do. I'm loving how it turned out. I am going to try the other little fabrics that I have and stitch away and see how they look, but I'm really fond. I wish I had more of this, what is it, houndstooth print. I have zigzag. Yeah, it kind of looks like houndstooth. I wish I had tons more of it because I think it's... Um, really nice and if I had more of it I'd use it for the rest of the bag so what's going on in here I have a round table so I'm wondering if I joined several of these could I make a table mat oh yeah yep there's instructions on I need a good designs website to make a pillow so like I said this is kind of like the middle of the road size you, there's two sizes above it. It tells you everything on the Anita Good Design website. So you could make big ones and attach them together and put backing on it and bind it. So you could. I may make a few of these next year's for pillows for the grandkids. I think they would love it. If you look through, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Lime guava, strawberry. Um, what else was there, Dawn? Pomegranate. Pomegranate, which is really cute. Um, pineapple. pineapple. Oh yeah, Beatrice like the, she loves pineapple. Yeah, and I think, oh, and watermelon. I, I don't care for eating watermelon, but it sure looks cute on a purse. So for sure. I don't really like it. I didn't think you did either. I don't mind it. No. Nobody else does. What about using the pizza design? Yep, we can do that. I'm going to do that after. I'm just waiting for Don to pick up pick out the pizza that he wanted. But it's the same concept and if you get everything the same size, it will fit. So, yeah. For sure. Uh, and then we're going to force Don to use it, right? Because that's, you know, what we said. I'm going to do strawberry and the watermelon. <gasps> awesome. I My favorite thing ever is strawberries. I just love strawberries. 
and that watermelon that is so cute so cute so make sure you put up pictures please 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 for pictures and look at that we are done my luminaire 2 says it takes 14 minutes to stitch it's a quick stitch it's a quick stitch it'll probably take me twice as long to sew it so um let's pop it out of the hoop because we're done and go back to the desk so look we did it and look how i always do this because i'm impatient to get done just kind of line it up just just to look at it oh is it that cute what do you it's think awesome. that is gonna look awesome so just as a rough look that's how i do it um obviously it's not perfect but the colors okay i love the rind i love the color of this orange and then light and light are all in the same print. So I'm thinking this is going to be incredible. Now, all I did here, I left the top a little bit, but I took it over to my cutting table and I just made straight lines. You don't have to go that far. You can just cut it off, leave your backing. Make sure you leave at least a quarter of an inch Um seam allowance on everything that's why i didn't worry that i kind of hacked it out i just took a ruler and made everything straight just makes better seams makes better everything i was also thinking i was also thinking as i was stitching the first one out right here right here would be a perfect place for a name um or saying or something like that even if it's just on one of them just a little secret thing but a different saying on each, each piece, one like like strength and yeah inspirational yeah. You, you could put the b ones on it but even just small i was just thinking that would look amazing so yes i am going to be sewing four of these together for each side of the purse and then there's another piece that goes in between and there's going to be a zipper so picture this twice this will be the flat edge for the zipper and um we have a little challenge so if you want to join in the challenge and do one of these purses i think this is probably going to be my favorite thing ever so yeah if you want to write a little secret note in there I, inspirational um you could even do like orange jokes <laughs> i thought of that because you know i joke around all the Sweet time says orange yeah orange knock knock who's there orange orange who orange you glad i didn't say orange again you know an orange a day will keep the doctor away perfect something like that that adds your personal touch to it i think is fantastic so my granite nails i meant to say they're they're granite like and sparkly i did them yesterday and pretty so you could um you could do a lot with this but i'm gonna be making a purse and if i can do it i'll probably be making more and a pizza purse for dawn Yay, pizza purse. yeah <laughs> there's um it's called anita slice if you're looking and there's a lot of different kinds of pizza so i'll be doing that later this one is uh one in a melon there you go susan oh that was another one there was an orange melon um but yeah also yeah, yeah. also true about apples yeah yeah perfect isn't that yeah. a great idea just make it your own try different fabrics shiny fabrics the cork fabrics anything like that i think it's gonna look amazing so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys like this video if you're new subscribe Give it a like if you liked it. Join in on our purse making challenge. We have till the end of the month to do it just for fun. Although I may give away some Anita Good Design designs to the winner. So if you want to join 
join in, you're more than welcome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mug Rug Monday. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Ooh, I like my orange. I like my 